Hello and welcome to the Clashing of Steel. And today I am taking a look at the Grease consumables. So I'm going to start with the Spear and Pike Infantry consumables. So first we have the Double Rations. It gives you melee attack, melee weapon damage and morale. I personally don't use it that much, but if I would use it with some commander it would definitely be Milti-80s. The Spearmen don't have that strong attack and getting any type of small boost to your attack can be vital. So the next consumable we have is the Olympic Trials. This one can actually make a lot of difference. I usually use it with Milti-80s, giving him that extra movement speed making him even faster, giving him also a bit of defense and weapon damage with it. This is just my personal choice, but if you feel that this isn't cutting it for you, that you need some more damage, you can go with the double rations. So next up we have the shared rations. It gives you 75% melee defense for 10 seconds. Personally, I feel that the Pike Phalanx can make you defensive enough for this consumable to be absolute. Okay, I can understand if you are using it with Leonidas and you are just pushing in the shield bash. It will give you that... Uh, extra defense for 10 seconds so it will take less damage but I'd say the shield bash is strong enough or your pike phalanx is strong enough to go in and bash without this consumable so the next consumable is share wine I feel that this consumable is a lot more important when you're playing Leonidas if you're pushing in the shield bash and your morale starts to shake you can use hold the line to get a bit extra morale and phalanx regeneration but I personally feel that this isn't cutting it. I am often just routed, I'm often just uh, dying out of moral damage. This is why I prefer the share wine. If they flank me from the sides, I can use this consumable and hold the line to just uh, reform myself, to pull myself back out without receiving any lethal moral damage. This is probably one of my main consumables with the Grease Spears. So next up we have the Talises or Talises Council. It gives you melee defense, morale and shield armor. I used to use it with Leonidas, but uh, as I said I prefer the shared wine lately, because it makes a lot more difference. If you're feeling that your defense with Leonidas or Miltiades or Alexander isn't good enough, or even with Kinana, you can pick this to give you that extra defense. As I said, it used to be one of my favorites to pick with the Leonidas and Miltiades actually. I kind of feel that uh, with Leonidas this isn't that great and Miltiades can use some other consumables a bit better. So next up we have the Whetstone. I personally have only used this consumable with Pikemen, just to give that extra melee weapon penetration damage, but it kind of didn't seem to make that much of a difference while in the Phalanx. Perhaps its 10 second duration didn't work out that well when I used it. I tried it several times but uh, Pikes are rather strong themselves. I guess you can try them with Spearmen or with uh, Miltiades, but uh, I don't think there's going to be much of a difference. The problem is that you need a right moment to use it, and it doesn't last that long, while the other passives will last definitely for the whole game. I think this consumable might have its uh, moment at some point or at some location, but I myself have not seen that much use for it. So this was it about the infantry. But the cavalry shares some of the same consumables as the infantry. For example, the Talus Council, the Share Wine, Olympic Trials, and Double Rations. But cavalry has something else as well. Telesian Steeds. It will give you extra impact damage, melee attack, and moral. Personally, I do prefer the Telesian Steeds with the Alexander. Seeing as the Alexander doesn't have a lot of else than the impact damage. I sometimes used to run with the defense consumable, but it didn't work out because Alexander is like a paper when it goes to melee combat. So next up we have the archers and slingers. So starting with the passive consumable, which can be rather great. It gives your units acceleration and missile weapon range. It can give you that extra range when you're playing with slingers to harass other archers or some other units. If you don't know what type of uh, ammunition to pick, this is probably your best choice. There are a lot of different ammunition types and I will try to do my best to go through all of them. So first up we have the Botkin Arrows. They will increase your range, also armor penetration damage but will reduce your weapon damage. This can be something you might want to use against armored legionnaires. 
perhaps even Leonidas' spearmen. But they won't do that much damage against light units. So next up we have the Broadhead Arrows. They will increase your missile weapon damage, but reduce the weapon penetration damage. These are great against other archers or light units of that sort. Perhaps the best example would be the Falksmen. They have no shield defense and they don't have that much armor. So next up we have the Flaming Arrows. It will reduce your missile weapon range, but it will increase your missile weapon damage and missile weapon penetration damage. If you want to be really nasty and annoying towards someone at close range, this is probably the arrow type you should pick. And for the final we have the Light Arrows. They will increase your range, but will reduce your penetration damage and weapon damage. With Slingers I would definitely not pick them. They have long enough range and reduced enough damage, and they don't need any more reduction. To be honest, at the tier 5s and above, I don't think the Light Arrows are that great. They used to work great at low tiers, doing some damage, annoying other archers and so. But in the end, the Light Arrows or Bullets are just so weak that there is no point in picking them. With Slingers I would prefer Heated Bullets instead. They will reduce your penetration damage, but they will give you weapon damage. And you will lose no range whatsoever. So this was it about the Grease Consumables. There are a lot of consumables and nearly half of them, or even more, I don't use. I'm sure there are some players who have found a use for them, but I personally just pick those that I know I can utilize the best. Hopefully this gave some insight about the Grease Consumables. So, don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.